Hello everyone, welcome to episode 46 of the Knitting, uh, of the Knitting Podcast, of the Yarnivore Podcast, all about knitting. I am Sadie, I'm your host, also known as Blue Ruin on Ravelry and Sadie Ruin on Twitter and Instagram. I'll say this again, I just had dental work and my mom, well, I had dental work a couple days ago, but it still really hurts and my mouth still feels really weird, so if... <laughs> If I have a moment of just seeming weird or talking or sounding weird, I apologize. It's probably going to take a little getting used to. Anywho, on my behalf, I'm not sure about your behalf. Your behalf may not even notice, but my behalf, very noticing. Just saying. Lighting's really good today. It's overcast outside, actually. It is, like, exceptionally overcast. And my neighbor's plum tree is very full. Very, very full. Um, but I have my day halogen backwashing, so backwashing. That just sounds bad. I'm doing this lighting thing, and I hope it looks good. I look very pale today, but I have you know that I haven't seen a lot of sun lately. There you go. There. I'm, I'm, I'm dark here. I haven't seen a lot of sun lately, so I'm going to start my winter fade. That is what I do. That is what a lot of Indians do. Just saying. My type of Indians, not India, Indians and Native Americans, whatever you want to call us. Oh, I tend to fade in the winters and then bronze up in the spring, summer. Oh, the life of a half breed, right? Okay, finished objects, I have nothing. I have nothing. I was really close to having something, but I don't. I don't. I failed on that. But I do have three works in progress that are pretty epic. So... Um, I'll respond to that in a bit. I'm sorry. I have to keep my thing on in case my mom calls because she's visiting my aunt in Calgary. And so she's going to be going to a few stores, which means presents for me. And yes, that is exciting. Trust me, lots of things are exciting that probably shouldn't be at this point. So, works in progress. I have three, uh, two of which you've seen many times, one of which is a noob. So in my Pam bag, which I still love, FYI, this is a big bag because guess what? I have a whole sweater in here for me. And I don't just mean I have, like, okay, you remember seeing this? You remember seeing this? And I held it up on, on the needle. In fact, I'm still using the same needle. And I said, I, I swear, there's a sweater in here somewhere. Like, I felt really bad holding it up because it just looked like a giant spider. Well, guess what? The body is done. I have a sleeve started. So this particular pattern, the true friend, hold on. Is it up here? There it is close up. Looks like this. So you see that sleeve? That's what I'm working on. I've got the ribbing done. So I have two sleeves. They're not full sleeves. Hopefully that is enough to keep me going because as we all know I tend to conk out on sleeves. However, I'm so bloody close. So I tried this on and, and threw a picture on Instagram despite bedhead and well not bedhead. It was evening hair. You know you've had it up all day and you're, I think I was wearing my pajamas underneath it, like really, who cares? But it is huge, it is a giant box of yumminess. So I did the ribbing, I did change it a little, I did two inches instead of one inch of ribbing, I just wanted to add that extra oomph there. And I just, I love it, I love it, look at it, look at how awesome it is. It is going to be a big, slouchy, warm, comfy thing. So excited, so excited to get it washed and to get it blocked and to get it done. So, sleeve. I I believe I'm knitting the 51 inch size. I have a 44 inch bust. Or do I have a 47? It's gone. I think it's a 47. It depends. It depends on the bra, really. Sometimes it's really tiny. Sometimes it's not. It depends on how you smish them. Uh, but I really I wanted to make it big, big. I wanted the big box and so 
do that. Oh, that is unpleasant. Let's just do that again. Because then at least I look cute, like Natalie Portman in The Professional, which is an awesome movie if you haven't seen it. Uh, I wanted to have, like, the big slushy. I just want to be able to put it on and rock it when I'm having a shark week. And so close. This better be an FO next week. In fact, I better be wearing this on the podcast if it's not cold, if it's not warm. I love it. It is wonderful. It is everything I've ever dreamed of. And it's got kind of a bat wing. It's just awesome. It's just awesome. This is The True Friend by Vera Valimaki. It is out of the purple is Knitter's Nightmare Batty Sock in the I Am No Bird colorway. The white with speckles is Madeline Tosh in the Murakami colorway. I did the Euro sock. Euro sock, Euro 500 sock. That is a skein of I Am No Bird. The last skein, it takes three skeins. This is the last skein. I better be able to get both my sleeves out of it. I probably have enough left over of the Murakami that I can do a pair of socks or maybe a hat or something so that probably will happen and yeah I'm excited I'm excited to have a finish because of how far it was done it would not have counted for my sweater knit along I'm counting it personally but I'm not counting it for the knit along. My knit along will probably be my winter wheat. However, we do have the knit along and it runs till the end of November. And remember, it had to be 50% or less as of October 1st. Anything after October 1st, you're good. There is a chatter thread and an FO thread. So if you're curious as to if it looks 50% or not, you can always ask in there. If you want to come and see what other people are doing, you can look in there. Um, I believe it's Nani Knits was talking about doing something with a short sleeve. Short, or no, short row, a short row sleeve thingy. Sounds a little like a contiguous. Not sure, but that I look forward to seeing. And there is, of course, the FO thread. The hashtag for Instagram is Yarnivore S K A L. Yarnivore sweater knit along. So come on, feel the noise, and and join forth in the sweater knit along. It can also be a cardigan. Just saying, if it, if it opens at the front, it doesn't matter. The only rule is it has to be an adult size. Now, next up in my Mina Makes, I have my four Megan knit along. It is the, uh, in, in memory of Cyborg's Crafter, Megan. Where's my doo-doo? Where's my little doohickey? Oh, there it is. Okay, so there's my little thingy. And that's how far I've gotten in the last week. So I will move her up. Or maybe that isn't how far I got. Maybe I didn't move it up. Either way, I feel like I've accomplished a little bit. Let's put it on this row. So I'm into the third color. I striped it in just a little bit just because that's all I had left. There's probably four stripes there. The third one is Impromptu Dance Party. So box of 96 right here. Uh, Spirograph Nebula here. Impromptu Dance Party here. And if I need to. I have Stellar to add on. I'm not sure. I have about 20 more rows, but at this point, a row takes about 15 minutes because they're super long now, and you and you keep increasing. So this is it in the skein. There we go. This is it in the skein. Um. So yeah. It's fun, it's easy, it's something I do when I can't, when I don't want to think. Because so far everything else has required thinking. And I really need to cast something on that's not in fingering or lace weight. I have to tell you this, it's driving me crazy now. Like, I, I have the socks, okay, so I have two pairs of socks. Didn't knit on them all week, but I have them. Those are in sock weight. 
think I have one DK project that I haven't worked on in a while. I could probably pick that one back up again. But everything I have is in fingering or lace. And I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm over it. I'm really over it. And then I was looking at my friend's activity as I do for inspiration occasionally or when I'm bored or what have you. You know, it's just something I check on somewhat semi-frequently. And You Don't Call Me Less, Leslie from the Night Girls had, had cued the new Amy Herzog, which is a fingering white stripey sweater. Well, I'll be danged if I didn't look at the sweater and go, ooh, uh, yes, I need to make that. And so I clicked on it. I looked at it. I'm like, okay, sport, come on, sport, fingering, or sport, where's the DK sport? Work? Fingering. It's fingering. And I really want to make it, so I will, but it's just, oh my goodness, all the fingering sweaters. Why did I do that to myself? Why? Why? I don't know. I just clearly was not thinking at all. I wasn't thinking. Okay. So for the third one, I have to bring it up on my iPad because I did not bring the pattern in here because the pattern is like 20 pages long and I didn't want to mess anything up. The next one I'm working on is Leaf Wreath, or it's called Blattkranz. Okay, Tracy, stop laughing at me. Blattkranz shawl. It is a deep crescent shaped shawl based on the Herbert Niebling pattern of the same name. Leaf Wreath in English, Blattkranz is worked from the top down with increases throughout the body. It's pretty, it has beads. And it is the shawl to replace the even star because so my best friend Lily is getting married in February, which means I need to I need to bust this. But I she is a tiny woman. She is a very tiny woman. She is very petite, she is very tiny. I am the big Amazonian large one, and she is the petite nymph fairy waif one. And an even star would eat her. It would swallow her up. I'm pretty sure she could use it as a blanket. It's just way too big for her. So we looked through things and we decided on this. It goes better with her with her theme. Well, like I mean, the Even Star went with her theme. This goes a little bit better. It's a half shawl. It's a crescent. Plus, it's going to be um, summer. Spring, summer in New Zealand. So it looks like this. Let's see. So it's got the, it's very lacy, it's very intense, and there's some beads, but there's only like, you know, a thousand, which if you're me, it's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. you could laugh at that, because after 5,000 on the in dreams, you know, it, a thousand, it's more like 900, but seriously, I just, oh, I laughed, I laughed, I laughed. Well, I actually got started on it. Because I was like, you know what? I'm not listening to video games. I'm not, because the hubby is not on the couch. There's pet room, which means they, they clump to his spot. Because not only do they miss him, but there's open space. So they're not on top of me or right next to me. So I have room to spread out. Because this is a big shawl. With, I think it goes A through G in chart format. And I finished chart A. I started chart B. I am at the portion where I'm going to start adding the beads. I am using an 80-20 wool silk blend by... I was going to dye it myself, but I suck at dyeing whites. So I ordered it. It's from the Unique Sheep. It's the EOS base. I've used it before. I love it. They dye to order. And this is 1,200 and some odd yards in the Irish linen colorway. Yes, it's just... it's. It's antiqued white. Not antiqued like a fabric would be. Not like you would get if you got antique white for cross stitching, which is kind of a yellow. This is more of like just, just an old faded book page. And so I put my lifeline in because I am not an idiot. Well, I am an idiot and I screw up, so I know better. And I put in a lifeline in after A. I'm going to do one halfway through B. 
So this is chart A. Doesn't look like much yet. But chart B, I finish this off and I start onto the leaves, I think. Or maybe I don't. I don't know yet. But so I started. I have my stitch markers in. I'm using 3.25 millimeter needles. These are my signatures. Previously, I am doing I am doing my garter goodness on a four millimeter needle and my true friend is on a 3.5 millimeter needle. This is a 3.25. Like I said, I'm working on the same needles. I'm running out of this needle size. So that is as far as I've gotten. I'm starting B. I will probably get through a bit of B tonight. I think I'm just gonna keep forcing myself to work on it a little bit every day. It's in my fat squirrel fibers bag which I love. And the beads I'm going to be using, I ordered from earthfairy.com. Uh -oh. It's not going to show up, is it? Nope. So that's E-A-R-T-H-F-A-I-R-E.com. Great place to get your beads. I ordered one packet of there, there we go. One packet of these. They are antique white, antique ivory pearl celion beads. They're in 80. And I have to dig out my. Oh, that's a bad. The cross stitch, or not cross stitch. The crochet hook I use. I pour these into a little teeny tiny Tupperware, and then I just beat the crap out of it until I get enough on. I will be using that method again. I do love the way the beads come. I love this little container. It's awesome. This is supposed to be enough. I did save my receipt in case I needed to order more. And for anybody who needs to buy beads, this is actually relatively cheap here. I paid and I got, because this was, because I had started a new account, I got a discount. Where are you? Tell me how much this cost me. Or do you not? Is this just a packing thing? I think it, this is just a packing thing. I think with shipping I paid like five or seven dollars for this. So it's awesome. Oh. So. These are the beads. One sec. Okay, so that was my mom, and I just had to return the text. Sorry about that, but so it goes. So, Earth Fair beads, the beading starts in the next chart, so I'm crazy. Also, the designer of this is Haley Tsang Sather. Uh, the pattern costs $6.50, and it looks like... Um, it's all in English. It's so pretty though. It's gonna be so gorgeous when it's done. <laughs> Apparently my allergies are acting up too. Yay! I would like to take the opportunity to uh, bring up that this is the or rather, Monday was the last episode of the Wolf Farms podcast, and I, for one, am sad because I love Dawn and James, and I've watched them for a long time, and even when I fell out of uh, podcasting and watching a lot of podcasts, I would check in with them occasionally, so I'm kind of sad that they're gone, but I completely get why they have to, or why they've decided to uh, take a break. It is very labor intensive and it can get very expensive and they were doing a lot of things that would have added up to being more expensive so I completely get it. I'm just gonna miss them. And you can go and watch back episodes currently. I think iTunes might still keep them. And yeah. So just a big I love you, big send off to Don and James of the Wolf Farm Podcast and for uh, letting us be in their lives for a while. Not that I'm going to go anywhere. I'm still going to text Dawn. Uh, <laughs> it's true. 
Now there was a Q&A. There were a couple in the Q&A. So someone had posted, uh, let's see here, Mucklepoo, Mucklepoo 1986, who is next to a TARDIS. Have you ever thought about spinning yarn for a cross-stitch project? Do you think it would work? I saw a German podcaster do it. However, the thread was quite thick for cross-stitch. I think if I did, I'd probably have to do a cruel or an embroidery. I don't think I could do it for cross-stitching because I am not that thin a spinner. Uh, at the best of times, I can't spin that thin. So I doubt I would do it. I doubt it. I'm Maybe silk. Maybe silk because you could really, like, if you did the hankies, you could really stretch it out. Or if you did filaments, like if you did filaments off the cocoon, you could, but... I, I think I'll keep them separate for now. <laughs> Only because I don't I don't trust myself with that. Uh, doop, doop, doop. Victoria Blue didn't have a question but saw a pattern and thought of me, which is very sweet. Uh, it was actually gifted to me recently and I am looking forward to doing them because they are adorable. And it is the Fright Night by Laura Smoot. They are socks with bats. Look at that. Yeah. I don't have the, I haven't asked the person who gifted it to me, so I'm not going to say who it was, but they are so, so stinking cute. And I do have to do them. But, but first I need to finish the shawl. I'm not sure if you understand how, how what the timeline is here. And I don't even know if I'm going to get to go to New Zealand for it because of the Navy. Me and the Navy, we aren't on good terms right now. I also wanted to point out that uh, while there was no shop update this week, in lieu of it actually getting cooler and finally being sweater weather, there is a flash sale from Friday, today, the day I recorded this, to Monday at midnight. And if you use the code sweater weather, all caps, no spaces, you get 10% off. So go forth and pontificate on that. I think that's everything I had to say this, this time. It's not a big update. A lot of my life was prepping and whatnot and being alone. And then I'm sorry, but after you've had like two hours at the dentist, you do not want to do anything aside from lay on the couch in and vegetate and watch countless episodes of Worst Cooks of America Celebrity Edition. Just saying. Love me some Anne Burrell and Rachel Roy. I've also really enjoyed uh, The Good Place, which is new. Speechless, which is possibly the best new comedy out there. Seriously, seriously, find it on your on demands. Go watch it because it is amazing, amazing. And I'm not just saying that because it has Barry Kripke from Big Bang, without his lisp, John Ross Bowie, or the fact that his last name is Bowie, but no relation to David Bowie. That would be Duncan Jones who did the Warcraft movie. Anywho, go watch it. It's amazing. Those and this is us. Uh, apparently, I'm into watching television as it happens now while my husband's gone. That's my thing. And doing a lot of dishes. However, next week, I hope to have a finished object for you. And hopefully, you are having a wonderful week. Hopefully, you will have lots of stitching and lots of knitting. And yeah. Bye.